It is obvious that when the youth and women are fully empowered and engaged, the overall mandate of the government will be fully delivered effectively and therefore dividends of democracy will be judiciously enjoyed by the people without hindrance. Keenly aware of this, the lawmaker representing Ikeja Federal Constituency at the House of Representatives, Honorable James Faliki, organized massive empowerment program for the residents of his constituency. At a ceremony attended by eminent and influential figures, party stalwarts, and residents of Ikeja and environs, Faliki distributed thousands of bags of rice and beans, several mini buses, ambulance services, pickup truck for security agencies, industrial sewing machines, power generating sets, deep freezers, clippers and sterilizers, tricycles, grinding machines, and many other items. Speaking at the police college, Ikeja GRE, venue of the event, the lawmaker said the disbursement was part of efforts to take youths off the streets and help them live meaningful lives. People keep on asking, how? It is because I deny myself of so many things. Oh, yes. It's because of the love I have for all of you. Oh, yes, sir. It's because you have given me your mandate to go and fight for you. To go and bring home dividends of democracy. And for me, in Kenya, federal council, I've said it several times. There are no federal projects in this local government. There are no federal roads. But we have federal people who must be taken care of. Have you? And that's exactly what we have been doing years, year in, year out. My duty as assigned constitutionally is to make laws. But when we make laws, we must find a way to be sure that the people we make laws for are alive and are happy. And you can only be alive and happy if you are, if you are engaged, if you are empowered, if you are not hungry. There can only be peace and security in this country if all of you are engaged in one way or the other, if you are happy and if you are out of the streets. Ikeja being center of excellence, Ikeja being the capital of Lagos, it's only certain examples, certain pace for others. We have said it times without number. When we came on board, there were so many area boys, area girls outside there. Today, we have been able to reduce it or take it out drastically. Only the lazy ones remain on the streets. Because for one reason or the other, we have touched, we have touched virtually everybody. The AZ Indigo of Ikeja community, AZ Uche Dimba describes Faliki as a detribalized leader, adding that the empowerment initiatives are for all and sundry, irrespective of religious or ethnic affiliation. Faliki is the best in Nigeria, number one in the whole Nigeria. His empowerments are always among us, very big. He has touched life, he has touched people. Faliki doesn't know tribe. He doesn't know religion. He does it for everybody. In this Ikeja federal constituency, nobody will try him. Nobody. In, in the whole Nigeria, I've not seen anybody who is empowering people like Valeke. Let the person come and show me. This is not the first. It's not the second. It's not even the third. And it's not going to be the last. Today we are here. Uh, in honor of invitation by our Honorable James Abiyono Faleke, representing the Keja constituency, federal constituency. He has been doing a great job. He has been empowering uh, his constituents, including the Arewa community. And today, again, he is doing uh, a lot in the area of poverty alleviation and empowerment of the Arewa community. If you are asking me to describe Honorable Faleke, then you are asking me to talk from now to tomorrow. And what K to me, as far as I'm concerned, is a phenomenon, is an icon, it's a project. It's somebody that um, uh, came into his political sphere and changed the landscape. 
Uh, as of today, the man derives joy in giving. And that is why we have always seen him as a philanthropist. It's not just about having money. The ability and the spirit to be able to give, to be a giver, is another thing. So, um, in short, I will describe on a as a political icon. Uh, that is a phenomenon that when you begin to describe him, you just continue to talk on and on and on and on. Today, he's giving back to his constituency, to the electorate, as he used to do. He has given out about two to three hundred korokwe before. Now he's giving about two hundred today again. He's giving out today. He locks bus, cars, tricycle, refrigerator with generator, and many others. He has been doing it before. We are so proud of him. While appreciating the lawmaker, beneficiaries express their joy at his consistency in putting smiles on the faces of the downtrodden. I'm so happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm extremely happy. As a matter of fact, I'm short of words. I'm short of words. I'm so happy. I don't know, even know what to say. I don't know the adjective I can use to qualify Honorable James Abiyo Faliki. He's doing well. He's been doing it. And may God, all I have to say is to pray for him that God should continue to, 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 to move in up and up. I was given the dener um, generator with the freezer from Honorable James Abiodu Faleke. Ah, I really thank Honorable James Abiodu Faleke. He's a wonderful man, he's a kind man, he's a man of honor. In fact, I pray God will continue to honor him. God will continue to be with him and his family. He will not lack of any good thing in life. I really want to appreciate my Honorable for the small gift that he gave to us. I want to thank him because I want to appreciate him for what he has done. He, make, he put a uh, smile on people, so many people's face. We want to thank him, we want to appreciate him. Faleke further disclosed that the recipients are from different parts of his constituency without any direct link to him, stressing that making good use of the empowerment tools will make them become self-reliant. They are supposed to use to empower themselves and also take care of their families. We have seen those who are empowered who have done so much, who have left one room apartment to move to two room apartments. They will see those who said they are now able to pay the school fees of their children. We have seen those who have empowered, who have, in fact, their physical outlook alone, you see it in them. And so, for me, I think that what is critical is uh, the fact that we have given it out, our conscience is clear, they have accepted it, they will use it the way they think it is useful. With this initiative, poverty will reduce drastically if the beneficiaries take responsibility and are diligent with their trades.